All right, so before the video starts, I just want to say that, you know, I'm sorry for the lack of videos for the past week or so because I'm actually like, I haven't like uploaded in a week right now. And if we're talking about like more of like a fitness video, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks or even more. But now like actually not to make excuses or anything, but I've been streaming a lot. And I've been doing way better on Mixer than I am doing on YouTube. So I think it's like quite understandable that I tend to go more towards Mixer than YouTube. But yeah, right now it's like a competition going on. And today is like February 10th. It's gonna go on till a um, February 17th. So I'm gonna like be like watching it probably for like until 17th. Because there's like, like for me, really interesting, even though it's like an esports event, it's like um, Rainbow Six Invitational. But like, I love that game, so I'm gonna be watching it. So I don't know if I'm gonna be filming anything too big until the 17th, but after that, like, I'm gonna be just back on YouTube, just going, like, posting a shit ton of videos because I still have like a lot of ideas written down on a piece of paper that I think that. A lot of people might enjoy but yeah other than that sorry for not posting anything in a while but this video should turn out quite interesting it was really hard my my like my forearms and my back hurt for like I think five or six days pretty bad so yeah other than that I hope you enjoy and I'll see you later Alright, so what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. I don't even like I don't even know how to call it like is it an episode of the grind series or this is just a separate challenge? I don't even know because like I'm gonna do pull-ups, a shit out of them, and it doesn't really add up to any of the challenges I need to do, so I think it's gonna be a separate one, but yeah, never mind. So as you can see in the title, I'm gonna be doing pull-ups for eight hours now I have no idea if I'm gonna be able even to do pull-ups for eight hours because like the one thing that I'm scared of is that my muscles are gonna like start hurting and cramping and like I'm gonna just you know be finished in like five hours and you know I'm just gonna need to like either fuck around for three more or just you know quit it but yeah um I wanted to start it at 9 a.m. but I overslept a tiny bit so I'm gonna start at 11 right now it's like 10 30 so I still have like a few minutes to chill I still need to prepare a few things but other than that it should be uh, I think quite fun I like I would like to come up with a prediction how many I'm gonna be able to do or, like maybe just you know like an area of how many I'm gonna do but like I legit I have no idea but yeah other than that yeah, I'm gonna like, as I said, I need to prepare a few more things, rest, and yeah, I'm gonna begin. Alright, so everything is done, everything is basically ready to go. Right now it's, I think, yeah, 10.50, so I have another 10 minutes. So right here behind me I have two pieces of paper, so this one I'm gonna be just writing how many reps I did, because when you need to count like all of your reps, and you're really tired and you need to do it for a long time like it's so easy to forget how many reps you did and on the second one it's just like timestamps basically you know i'm gonna check like how many i did in, at 11 30 at 12 12 30 1 p.m you know 1 30 so yeah um right now i'm gonna start warming up because um the worst thing that you know i really don't want to happen is me pulling a muscle or something so I'm gonna spend the last 10 minutes warming up and yeah, then it's gonna be the beginning of a very, very long day. So yeah. All right, so it's 11.59 right now. I mean 10.59, so I just need to wait for that number to turn to 11.00 and it's gonna be the beginning. So I actually like, I have no plan. Like if I'm definitely not gonna do max reps every set because that would be stupid. I'm probably not gonna do like more than 10 and it's 11 and time to begin. All right, let's go. Even doing 
10 was kind of hard, not gonna lie. Alright, so I just did a few sets. So I did 10 on the first one, and then I did 3, and then I did 3 more, but like... I did 3 sets and I'm already struggling. Like, in the beginning I said this is gonna be a long day. It's gonna be an incredibly long day. So yeah, I need to like find a tactic that like works for me, so I like wouldn't burn out that quickly, but I wouldn't be doing like two reps each set. Or maybe that's a good idea, I am, I don't know, but yeah, I just need to keep on going right now because I'm kind of wasting time. Alright, so first check-in, I am 12 minutes in and I did 40 pull-ups. So I did some calculations and if I managed to do like 40 pull-ups every 15 minutes, that would be like, I think I would get a really good result. So I think that's what I'm gonna be shooting for, like 40-ish pull-ups every 15 minutes. That's gonna be like my plan for today. So yeah, I just need to keep on going. Alright, so right now I've been doing pull-ups basically for a tiny bit more than 20 minutes and everything like, it's, it's going quite fine but like my forearms are starting to feel like really really stiff so I got this like little massage ball and I'm just gonna try to like, you know, loosen up my forearms, just make them a tiny bit looser because you know, as I said, I don't really like wanna quit in the middle of the challenge so don't really want to injure myself so i think i'm just gonna just do that for a minute or two and hopefully it's gonna be fine but yeah right now i am actually falling behind my schedule so like i need to start moving my ass Exactly 10.30 right now, so I'm actually, I'm making good progress. So right now, 10.30, 83 pull-ups. I can go ahead and write this down. I think I just fucked something up. No, no, everything's fine. <laughs> Shit, like I started thinking that I messed something up, but yeah, 11.30. 83 pull-ups, so I'm still on, on schedule basically. I'm doing quite well, so I think that now I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice time lapse because it's quite annoying just to do a set, like put the camera into the next angle, do a set, like instead of like actually like resting, I'm setting up a camera. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully my my mini camera is gonna be working properly and I'm gonna get a nice time lapse. So I don't know if you were able to notice from the past few clips, but I actually like I changed my grip a tiny bit Like at first in the beginning like I was doing pull-ups like maybe like um, Like a fist wider from shoulders and I'm basically doing pull-ups like shoulder width And it's actually way easier like that. I actually I regret that I did not do that from the beginning But yeah, I'm actually I'm making really good progress right now because it's 11.53 um, right now and I've done 134 pull-ups. So I'm actually like quite a bit up front of the schedule. So that's great. 
So yeah, if I if I actually manage to keep it, keep this for like the whole eight hours, I'm actually like I'm gonna get a decent number. But yeah, we'll see how much my body can handle. Alright, so it's right now 12.01, so actually I always thought that I am like in front of schedule, but I'm actually behind, like, like I did some miscalculations in my head and I thought that like I was doing really well, but I'm actually, I'm behind schedule, like right now I did um, 100 and, okay, so I can write this down, 151. Right now, I should be at 160 right now. So I was thinking the whole time that I'm like doing really well and doing great progress, but fuck, I'm actually behind schedule. So that sucks. So yeah, I need to stop wasting time and I need to keep on going because I am falling behind schedule by, I, I don't want to say by a lot, but I am falling behind schedule. Um, Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of salty right now because like I like for like 15 minutes I was thinking like oh like I'm doing so well like I am in front of schedule like I'm doing such a good progress and math like was never really my thing so I am actually behind schedule right now and if I like calculate, calculated everything correctly right now I should have done like around 190-ish pull-ups and I've done 172, so I doubt that I'm gonna reach the number that I wanted to. But you know, if I like, I'm, I'm still not, I'm still gonna try my best. But yeah, it just you know it's just like demotivated a tiny bit, demotivating. If that's the word, I don't even know if that's the word or not. But you get what I mean. Um, you get what I wanna say. But yeah. I'm gonna be probably doing pull-ups for another like 10-15 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and have a snack because you know my my body needs fuel as any other so yeah all right so it's 215 right now so by the idea in 1215 I should have done like basically what like 200 pull-ups and right now I am at 177 so yeah I am behind schedule by quite a bit All right, so it's exactly 12 30 right now, so I am falling more and more behind the schedule. So right now, by my calculations, if I try to keep the same amount of like pull-ups every 30 minutes, I should be at 240 right now. And I am right now 1230 at 205. So that is not looking good and it's gonna look even worse now because I'm gonna go on a break because I really need to like grab myself a snack, you know, eat something, put some fuel in my stomach. So yeah, I'm gonna be falling even more behind the schedule. So yeah, basically right now I'm on a break. Like I'm gonna maybe like, you know, take a 10 minute break. I got myself um, a few slices of garlic bread to get some carbs and I got myself a banana to get in some protein. I have no idea if it's gonna help me or not, but I'm just, I just want to have a snack because I f feel hungry and when I'm hungry I get, I don't know, probably like a lot of people who work out, you should know the like saying hangry, basically you're angry when you're hungry, so if I'm gonna be doing pull-ups while hungry, I'm gonna get definitely pissed off and I'm just gonna quit, so yeah, I need a quick snack, a 10 minute break and I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna be back. Alright, so... 
My break is over, it's time to get back to doing pull-ups, but while I was on the break, like I was like counting something like I don't know how many of you have heard about a guy called David Goggins. So I don't know if he still holds the record or not, but at one point like he I think he still does. Basically he has the 24 hour pull-up record. It's 4030 pull-ups. And if I correctly counted it, he was like like he was averaging like let's say I think 42 pull-ups in 15 minutes and I wanted to do 40 and he's like kind of of like elite level athlete so I just realized that doing 40 in 15 minutes that's way too much for me so I actually I feel a tiny bit better about myself because I was actually pulling decent numbers at the beginning but yeah my my stomach is full right now i'm ready to go so you're about to see another time lapse and i'm about to do a shit ton of more pull-ups all right so it's one 1 p.m right now so right now I am at 231 so actually doing quite bad because if you look at that and now it's 231 so from 12:30 to 1 p.m. I did only what that's five I did only 26 pull-ups in half an hour so that's really bad and I think it's gonna get even worse because you know well of course it's bad because I took a break to eat but still I think that I'm not gonna be able to catch up because my palms like are really burning right now and my back is getting tired my biceps are getting tired like I'm starting to doubt that even like I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to like do pull-ups for the full eight hours so I'm, I'm like starting to doubt myself so I'm still gonna go f like full out as much as I can, but shit, like I'm starting to doubt myself right now. All right, so another update. So right now it's 1.30. So I am sitting right now at 275 pull-ups. So yeah, 1.30, 275. So what, I made 44 pull-up progress, so. Not too good. I uh, never mind, you know what, I, I'm getting so pissed off right now that I'm not getting the numbers I want that like I'm starting to lose my shit, but like I really like want to go hard, but like I already feel like it's not with the right arm, but with my left one when I bend it, like I already can feel my forearm cramping, so that's a bad thing, so like I was always thinking like alright, 40 pull-ups in 15 minutes, I'm gonna hit like over a thousand, that's gonna be great. Then I started thinking, okay, that's not, that's definitely not happening. 100 pull-ups an hour, that's gonna be 800, that's gonna be great. Starting to think that that's not, that's not, not gonna happen, so yeah, that fucking sucks. But there's another thing that it's, at least for me, it's interesting, so I've been like, I have the smart band or whatever it's called, and right now it's like, it shows that, okay, it shows that I burned 959 calories, so fuck, that's actually a lot. My, my goal is to gain weight, not lose weight, so that's bad. But yeah, I'm gonna start eating like a pig again from tomorrow, so that shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, my like, my palms are getting like really fucked up, like all the calories and shit, and there are like some parts that I can already see like, the skin tiny bit like wants to like rip off with the palm so <laughs> that's not good but all right i really like if i'm not gonna be able to reach 500 in eight hours like i'm gonna be pissed off like i'm gonna seriously be pissed off and if i'm gonna get dude like my my arms are already tired to even hold the camera what i was going to say is that if i'm gonna, not gonna be able to reach like at least 500 like I'm probably gonna get pissed off and when I get pissed off like I start working and working more and then even working even more so 
I'm probably gonna do this shit in like three or four months again. Maybe six months, we'll see. But like, I seriously like, you know, it's kind of stupid for me to like, try to go for a big number without like any actual training. Because I've done pull-ups and I haven't done them in a long, long time, but... Yeah, that's actually a quite fun challenge. Except for the fact that it's not going the way I want, but yeah. I need to shut the fuck up and, you know, keep on going. Okay, so maybe like not even five minutes have passed since I like said that my left arm is cramping up a tiny bit. So now it's a tiny bit different. Now it's both of my arms and it's actually quite bad. It's like basically almost every single time I bend my arms, like they start cramping, like forms like right here, like between the fore forearm and bicep, it starts cramping up pretty bad. So I really, really want to say I quit, but I'm not gonna say it yet. <laughs> but like it's it's getting harder and harder. I think that I'm gonna like take another break, eat some more food, and come back to it later. Alright. Another update, 2 o'clock, so I've done only 11 pull-ups in 30 minutes, so I went from 275 to 286, so that's plus 11, so that is fucking horrible, and I really don't want to do that, but I think that I will need to admit defeat, I'm still, I'm still not doing that, but like... Now it's like, it reached the point where my forearms are like, not even cramping, but like, it just, it, it hurts when I do pull-ups. So I think I'm gonna take a long break, and I'm just gonna, as you saw like previously in that, like I'm gonna take that little green ball and I'm just gonna try to like, move my forearms as much as I can, just try to massage them like, so it wouldn't be like so tight and shit, and I don't know if that's gonna help or not. Maybe I'm just gonna be wasting time, but still, you know, I wanna like at least spend those eight hours doing pull-ups or massaging my forearms. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm sitting at what, 286 I said? Yeah, 286, so, you know, I would still want to like reach a tiny bit bigger number, like it would be, it would be really dope, so yeah. I'm just gonna take a longer break, I'm gonna try to do like a few pull-ups here and there to, you know, just keep climbing up slowly, you know, trying to increase the number, but other than that, I think that I'm not gonna be reaching 800, I'm probably not gonna be reaching 500, right now I'm gonna be happy if I reach like 350 or some shit like that. Alright, so it's hard for me to do, but I need to admit defeat, I cannot do it no more, like, I've done, I think, um, what is it, I did 10 pull-ups in 17 minutes, so, like that shit, like, right now I'm standing at 296, so I'm just gonna get, like, everything, like, push everything as what I can, do 4 more reps, get it to 300, and I'm gonna call it quits, because my fucking forearms hurt way too much, and I'm like, don't wanna fuck it up, like, seriously, so, as I said, it's hard for me to do, but I admit defeat. I cannot do pull-ups for eight hours. I did, what, for four hours maybe? Some shit like that. So yeah, four more pull-ups and that's gonna be it, unfortunately. Alright, that's it, 300. Well, I am far away from, from um, what I wanted to reach, but I reached 300, so I can just write down here, 300, and that's gonna be it, so I'm sad because of that, but yeah, well, it is what it is, you know, I was like, I was like 90% sure that if something is gonna start cramping up, like it's gonna be my back, like, like the left side of my back, like, <laughs> If my body's gonna cramp, it's gonna be my back, but well, it was my forearm, so unfortunately, I need to end the video like this on a sad note. Well, not on a sad note, but on a fail. So I have a lot of other challenges in mind, so if you could drop a like, that would help me out a lot, but yeah, I'm jumping from one thing to another very quickly for some reason. Yeah, but I have a lot of video ideas for the future, so stay tuned for that, a lot of different challenges. 
And by the way, I just remembered how many, I wonder how many, I burned 1,258 calories. Wow, that's actually quite a lot. If I did full eight hours, like I would probably like, would have burned like 2,000. But yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm jumping back and forth. Okay, so what I wanna say is that, thank you for watching. I appreciate that, uh, that you watch. If you press a like, I appreciate that even more. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.